Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To change the display settings in Windows 11, open the settings window and click the system button at the left side of the screen to show the system settings for your device. Then click the display category in the pane at the right side of the window to show the display settings for Windows 11 in the right pane. Under the brightness and color section, there are settings that adjust the display's color and brightness settings. If available, to adjust the brightness of a built-in display in Windows 11, click and drag the brightness slider to the desired level. To enable night light in Windows 11, which uses warmer colors to block blue light to make getting to sleep easier, click the night light toggle switch to set it to the on position. To adjust the night light settings in Windows 11, Click the Night Light Settings button to show its settings in the right pane of the Settings app window. As an alternative way to turn on Night Light in Windows 11, click the Turn On Now button in the Show Warmer Colors on your display to help you sleep setting. To adjust the Night Light Strength, click and drag the Strength slider. To schedule a time to enable and disable Night Light in Windows 11, Click the Schedule Night Light Toggle to set it to the On position. Then either select the Sunrise to Sunset option or select the Set Hours option. If you choose the Set Hours option, then enter the time to turn it on and off into the Turn On and Turn Off fields that then appear. To return to the display settings, click the Display Breadcrumb at the top of the window or click the back arrow button in the upper left corner. To set HDR display options in Windows 11, click the HDR settings button under the display settings to show the HDR settings at the right side of the settings app window. To select which display to calibrate if you have multiple monitors enabled, select a choice from the select a display to view or change its settings dropdown. The HDR display capabilities for the selected display then appear under the Display Capability Settings header. To play streaming HDR video if available, click the Play Streaming HDR Video toggle switch to set it to the On position. To preview the HDR settings, move this window to the desired display if using multiple monitors, then play the preview video at the top of the window. To calibrate the streaming HDR video if enabled, click the Display Calibration for HDR Video Settings to show these settings in the Settings app window. Then play the video shown in the window in full screen on your display. Use the slider below the video to set the optimal display for the details in each photo in the video. Then close the full screen view. To reset your HDR adjustments later if you decide you don't like them, click the Reset Calibration button in this window. To return to the HDR settings, click the HDR breadcrumb at the top of the Settings app window. To set the battery options when viewing HDR video, select a choice from the Battery Options setting dropdown. If you select the Optimize for Battery Life choice, you can click the Battery Options setting button to expand the settings. To allow streaming HDR video on battery power, check the Allow Streaming HDR Video on Battery checkbox. To return to the Display Options, click the Display Breadcrumb in the Breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. The settings under the Scale and Layout section of the Display Settings in the Settings window in Windows 11 let you change the scale and layout of content on your display. These settings are sometimes used by people with 4K or higher displays to ensure the best picture possible in Windows 11. To adjust the scale of the display in Windows 11, select a choice from the Scale dropdown. You should use the recommended choice first. While not recommended to set a custom scaling if needed, click the Scale setting to open the Custom Scaling settings. Note the warning at the top of the settings that note that changes you make to this setting affect all displays and that it may make apps and text unreadable. If you still want to enter a custom scaling, type the custom scaling percentage, which is a number between 100 and 500, into the custom scaling field. Then click the adjacent checkmark button. If you change this setting, you must then sign out of your account by clicking the Sign Out Now button. 
you must then sign in again for the changes to take effect. To return to the Display Settings in Windows 11, assuming you don't need to change these settings, click the Display link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings window. To adjust your display resolution, also called the Screen Resolution, in Windows 11 if needed, select a resolution choice from the Display Resolution setting dropdown. The display resolution will then change. To keep the resolution, click the Keep Changes button in the message box that then opens. To revert to the previous resolution, wait until the timer elapses in the message box or click the Revert button in the message box. To change your display's orientation in Windows 11, select a choice from the Display Orientation dropdown. The display orientation will then change. To keep the orientation, click the Keep Changes button in the message box that then opens. To revert to the previous orientation, wait until the timer elapses in the message box or click the Revert button in the message box. To adjust the settings for using multiple displays in Windows 11, click the Multiple Displays Settings button to expand that section. To have Windows remember window locations based on the monitor connection, ensure the Remember Window Locations Based on Monitor Connection checkbox is checked. To disable this feature, uncheck it. To minimize windows when a monitor is disconnected, ensure the Minimize Windows When a Monitor is Disconnected checkbox is checked. To disable this feature, uncheck the checkbox. To detect another display in Windows 11 if needed, Click the Detect button for the Detect Other Display setting. To connect to a wireless display if needed, click the Connect button in the Connect to a Wireless Display setting. Windows then opens the Cast pane in the Notifications area to help you find the wireless display to which to connect. The Related Settings section of the Display Settings in Windows 11 lets you adjust advanced display settings like the Refresh Rate and Graphics Settings. To change advanced display settings like the refresh rate and display adapter properties in Windows 11, click the advanced display setting to show the advanced display settings at the right side of the settings app window. To select the display to adjust or for which to view advanced display settings, select it from the select a display to view or change its settings drop down. The information for the display then appears in the display information section below that. To change the adapter properties for the display, click the Display Adapter Properties for Display Name link in this section to open its Display Adapters Properties dialog box. Here you can view its display modes, change its refresh rate, and set color management on the Adapter, Monitor, and Color Management tabs if needed. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply any changes. To change the refresh rate for the selected display, select a choice from the Choose a Refresh Rate drop-down in the Advanced Display Settings in the Settings app window. To return to the Display Settings in the Settings app window, click the Display link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To change the default graphics settings in Windows 11 or set custom graphics options for apps in Windows 11, Click the Graphics setting in the Display Options in the Settings app window to show the Graphics options at the right side of the window. To change the default graphics settings, click the Change Default Graphics Settings link under the Default Settings section. To enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling for optimal graphics in Windows 11 if available, ensure the Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling toggle switch is set to the on position. If you toggle this switch on or off, however, you'll need to restart your PC for this change to take effect. To return to the Graphics Display Settings in Windows 11, click the Graphics link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To apply custom graphics options for apps in Windows 11, change the desired apps settings in the list of apps under the Custom Options for Apps section of the Graphics Settings. To add an app to this list if needed, Select whether the app to add is a desktop app or from the Microsoft Store by selecting the correct choice from the Add an App drop-down in this section. Then click the adjacent Browse button to open either an open dialog box for desktop apps or a Choose an App window for Microsoft Store apps.
For desktop apps, use the open dialog box to find the app in your Windows folder, click it to select it, and then click the add button in the dialog box to add it to the custom options for apps list. For Microsoft Store apps, select the app to add from the list in the Choose an App window to instantly add it to the custom options for apps list. To set the graphics option for an app in the custom options for apps list in Windows 11 if needed, click to select the app in this list. Then click the Options button that appears below the app to open a Graphics Preferences dialog box. To let Windows 11 decide which option to use, which appears in parentheses, Select the Let Windows Decide option. To select either a power saving or high performance option based on your graphics cards available, select either the power saving or high performance option as desired. To save your changes, click the Save button. To cancel your changes and close the dialog box, click the Cancel button. To remove an app from the custom options for apps list if needed, click the app in the list to expand its options then click the Remove button. Alternatively, to reset the graphics option for an app in the Custom Options for Apps list if needed, click the app in the list to expand its options, then click the Reset button. To close the Settings app window when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.